Nikita Dragon has been blowing up for the past while and it seemed about time we did a video on her. Nikita, formerly known as Nick Dragon, identifies as transgender so she has done her whole transition from male to female and looking at photos she looks so legit you'd probably never even know. At the moment Nikita has 5.3 million followers on IG and 2.5 million subscribers on YouTube. She's only 23 years old so I think she'll just keep getting more popular as well. I was curious about Nikita's ethnicity because she definitely looks exotic. Although she's American, her father is Vietnamese and her mother is Mexican. Nikita is known for being a social media star, YouTuber, model and a makeup artist and even has her own makeup line as of this past spring called Dragon Beauty. Ok I swear everyone has a makeup line now like Jeffree Star was the OG, James Charles, Bretman, Patrick Star. I could keep going but that's like another video right there. Anyways I would say that Nikita is definitely one of the biggest influencers right now. She's also an LGBTQ plus activist and I'm not exactly sure what the plus stands for. I forget so I'm not going to explain. Being transgender herself Nikita has been completely open with her followers and has no shame in telling her story. She always keeps it real and tries to use her experiences as a way to educate others instead of hiding procedures she's had done. Nikita came out on her YouTube channel back in 2015 where she posted a video called I am transgender. From there you can see that she actually has a whole playlist of vlogs documenting her journey from male to female which was obviously a lot of work. Looking at Nikita's pics you can see she's always glammed up and looking flawless. She also seems extra confident since completing her female identity and shows off her body a lot in bikini pics. But it wasn't always like this. Although Nikita has said from a young age she always knew something was off and was drawn to all things feminine, she actually didn't make her transition until pretty recently. What's going on guys and girls? My name is Kara and this series we have titled Before and After. Today we're going to focus on Nikita, her look, cosmetic work she's had done and just her overall transformation because it's definitely a big one. I've done other celebrity transformation videos including ones on Gigi Gorgeous and Trisha Paytas and we'll have links to those at the end of this video. I've also been reading all your comments and I'm going to be responding to some at the end of this. As always if there's anyone else you want me to document let me know in the comments down below. Now let's get into this video. So let's start with Nikita's face. It's no doubt that men and women have different types of face structures so individuals who decide to transition usually opt to get their face changed up a little. Or a lot. For males transitioning into females they do cosmetic work on the face which they call facial feminization surgeries and Nikita made a whole video on hers. This group of cosmetic work usually involves nose jobs, forehead and hairline procedures, work on the cheeks, jaws and our chin, even lip work which is all intended to make the facial features more feminine. Nikita said that when she got her facial feminization surgeries she went in and got them all done at once and one that I think made a lot of difference in her face was her nose job. Looking at before and after Nikita's nose got much smaller, sleeker and more delicate looking. Aside from the nose job Nikita also got a brow bone shave, hairline lowering, jaw shave, muscle shave and some lipo on the face. In this vid Nikita didn't mention getting a tracheal shave, a common procedure in facial feminization surgery which is basically getting rid of the Adam's apple. Gigi Gorgeous has had this done for example like we mentioned in her before and after vid so I'm not sure if Nikita got this done as well but it doesn't look like she has any evidence of an Adam's apple these days. I also think that Nikita has great lips and they're super plump and feminine so I'm assuming she gets some type of fillers there as well. But way back when she also did some makeup tutorials transforming her thin lips and making them much bigger. So that could be one of her secrets too. Personally I think Nikita looks gorgeous and the changes she has made over the years for her transition are really impressive. I was definitely shocked to see her before photos. Honestly when I first saw her she reminded me of Bretman like they could be siblings or something. Except now she's like the girl version. Let's move on to Nikita's body. This is usually one of the most controversial topics when it comes to those who are transgendered because nowadays we have the ability to have such natural looking plastic surgery done. Of course Nikita has had a boob job. In her vlog about her boob job she talked about it and said that she waited to get them until it was about a year into hormone replacement therapy. This way the surgeon would already have something to work with as the estrogen would have started to create breasts by that time. Nikita ended up getting a size that was around a CD cup and they're definitely noticeable. 
She has also said that this is one surgery that made her feel most like a girl after getting it done. She had some complications with this surgery, which she obviously got fixed, but it definitely scared her a bit. These days, Nikita's body looks really feminine, and she has more curves than the average woman, in my opinion. Fans often ask her about her lower half, like her hips and her butt, because it's kind of hard to miss. From the vlogs that I've seen, she hasn't really talked much about this, but considering the shape of her body, I would guess she either got a Brazilian butt lift or fat transfer to that part of her body, or silicone injections. Speculation online has mentioned silicone injections, but I'm really not sure. One thing that everyone is curious about with any transgender individual or celebrity is always if they had the surgery. You know, gender reassignment. What's going on down there? Considering that Nikita is really transparent about all her plastic surgery, I think this is something she would have mentioned. She has a video called Have I Gotten The Surgery, where I assumed she would set the record straight, but I didn't seem to catch it. Anyways, I'm pretty sure that Nikita did go through with the full gender reassignment surgery, considering tweets I've read. But if you guys know something I don't, or I totally missed something super obvious, then feel free to let me know in the comments. Something that made one of the biggest differences in Nikita's transformation was definitely the hormone replacement therapy. This is a long process that works to suppress certain male hormones and introduce female ones, basically estrogen. Over time, it will reduce things like facial hair and lots of body hair and cause breasts and hips to develop. It's also what helps make the voice more girly. I think that one of the things that makes Nikita really feminine is her voice. In a lot of her videos, she truly sounds just like your average girl. It's a good thing that she's honest about her identity because she could definitely fool some people. Nikita has been really open about her hormone replacement therapy too. She's posted updates during the process about changes she's been going through and what it was like. I admire that she shares so much with her followers and subscribers because it could be really helpful to anyone going through the same thing. She has also admitted that transitioning got her a bit addicted to surgery and she kept finding more that she wanted to fix on herself. That could surely be difficult and confusing considering she's not even 25 and has so much work done already. Besides all of the surgical changes that Nikita has made to evolve over the past few years and become super feminine, her beauty look has also changed. She's always been great at makeup considering she started off doing makeup tutorials on YouTube and still does plenty of them. It's no doubt she's a pro at glamming herself up and looking flawless. Nikita has even done videos reacting to old footage of her when she was still a boy, which are pretty entertaining to watch. From these videos, you can really see how much Nikita has changed from before and after, and her makeup skills have really improved over the years. Like I mentioned before, she also has her own makeup line, Dragon Beauty, so she's come a long way to say the least. Aside from Nikita's makeup always being on point, her hair is too. She doesn't hide the fact that she wears different wigs to get the look that she has though. Makes sense considering her hair changes pretty often. There's been orange, green, pink, and blonde, just to name a few, so like every color in the rainbow. Nikita has even filmed tutorials on how to put on a wig properly on her channel. I swear wigs are becoming a seriously popular option these days, I see them everywhere. Like even for people who don't need to wear them. I guess the wigs are looking extra realistic these days. I mean, if I could get these celeb wigs, I would totally love switching up my hair all the time like that. At the end of the day, Nikita is someone who I think is a game changer. Just like other social media stars, Jeffree Star and Gigi Gorgeous, for example, she's doing great things for the LGBTQ plus community. I think she might even be more open and honest than any other transgender or transitioning influencers in the industry. She's only in her early 20s, so I'm sure Nikita is just getting started on her path to success. It's no doubt that she's trending and everyone wants to see her and more of her realness. Okay guys, so just like last time, I'm gonna be reading out some of your comments from past vids. This one was from our updated before and after video on Bella Thorne. Nur A said, Can you please do a video on Selena Gomez? So I'll definitely add Selena Gomez to my list, Nor. Thanks for asking, even though I think she's always just been naturally perfect. From my recent before and after video on Audrina Patrick from the Hills, I see Jaren, Lumpkin, and Skittles boys in the comments again. So hey guys, and thanks as always for the support. And one from our before and after on Lindsay Lohan we did a few months back. Floyd Fletcher had this to say. She's a scuzz and a skank. Sorry, I had to. The Lindsay Lohan comments make me laugh a little sometimes. Seems like a lot of you guys really don't like the girl. Poor Lindsay. All right, guys and girls, that wraps up this video here on Before and After. If you want to talk more about Nikita's transformation, you can hit me up on Instagram. Let me know who else you would like me to make a Before and After video on, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!